The doctors aren't super optimistic about my hemoglobin levels. My body is still recovering. It's a giant uncertainty, which is kind of frustrating because I just want to go home. I mean, I don't want to take unnecessary risks to get home, but I want to not be here. All right, like all good stories, this one starts with a limo ride to the airport through T-Roll at 6 a.m. We are going home. What are you cooking up here? Well, David is in charge because it's his first time out of the hospital. So I just asked him what he wanted and I went to the store. Said he wanted my homemade carbonara. So that's what we did. And um, yeah. the kids really like these bacon covered hot dogs because who doesn't like bacon covered hot dogs? So. Can you say that again? Bacon covered hot dogs? It's bacon covered hot dogs. It's literally bacon covered hot dogs. Just magic. Malika, how much how much do you like those? Whoa, ten? That much? How much do you like them? What does that mean? Use your words. So much. That much, Malika? No, bagel and bagel and bagel than Ellie's. <laughs> no, may I? Mine is bigger than yours. David's appetite has been like this all week, so. <laughs> my appetite has followed my mood, which has been. I'm great! I'm the worst ever! I'm great! I'm the worst ever! <laughs> Thank you for the people who let us stay here and to the nurses who let daddy out. Hey, 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 wait guys, wait, both of you, put your fork down, fork down, we're saying grace. Jesus, thank you for mamas who cook food, and thank you for daddy being free. Amen. Amen. Thank oh. you for the food that died that is so yummy. <laughs> How good is it, Malachi? Can I try it? So good. Yeah, the kids picked out dessert at the grocery store today, so we got an assortment of yummy treats and That's they already dipped in. Ooh, I had some of this earlier. Yeah. It's pretty good. Yeah. It's pretty good. So we got cookies and like hazelnut cake. Yeah. And some, some form of a marmalade stuffed chocolate cookie. I want, I'm like, I picked that one out. Yeah. And everybody's sharing. So I'm just uh, saying, everybody sharing. Okay, you know what? What's this favorite thing? You. Aww. Mm -hmm. And hot dogs. Watch out, watch out. We're here for our daily drop off of espresso and a breakfast sandwich. Bacon and egg sandwich and we bought hot sauce because we can't do anything for David without hot sauce. She was joking when she told me.
literally 9.0. On the dot. On the, on the knuckles. Wait, Which it's means just nine? Just nine. Right. Nine, nine is your number right good now. Good morning. Because, good morning, uh, beautiful girl. It's so good to see you. I see that you put a little, just a teensy bit of makeup on your face. Just a teensy bit. <laughs> Beautiful girl. That means we get to go home, guys. Okay? No, no. Yeah, yeah, that's no. good. No. That's so good. Yeah. We're not positive that we're going home tomorrow. No, I'm gonna call them. And as soon as I see the doctor, like in the flash, I'm gonna call uh, the insurance company and be like, "Yo, tell me the truth. Am I going home tomorrow or am I going home?" When? Yeah, because it's all of their paperwork and they, if they only now got your blood levels. Well, no, they had the thing. They, I talked to them and they, they were like, even if, like, we're going to start working on this because even if, like, that's what they do. That's their thing. They can do it. Book me a car to the airport, book some flights. It's really easy. They're global rescue. They're supposed to, like, do things quickly. So, I think it's going to be fine. I mean, I could get online and buy, buy a plane to get home right now. So. Yeah. It's a possibility, but uh, but you're right. Like, don't set your hopes on that. Don't hang your hopes on that. Yeah. right here there's no patient band on here it means I have been discharged from the hospital and we're going to the Munich airport to go home and I could not be more excited um, shameless plug for good insurance it's one of those things you don't notice when you don't need it but man when you need it it sure is nice uh, my insurance is covering our trip to the airport uh, family's trip home, a bunch of things that I would have to be paying for out of pocket if I didn't have good insurance. So I'm feeling super thankful. Um, as rough as this has been, breaking my femur in Europe, uh, we've had lots and lots of blessings along the way. Met some really great people, had a really great experience. And honestly, I can say, I'm gonna look back on this with fondness. I'm gonna look back on my experience breaking my femur with fondness because the nurses and the doctors and um, the food technicians, everybody treated us so well. The hospitality was, it was paramount. Um, the hotel where my family stayed while I was still in the hospital just took such good care of us. It's amazing. So, um, it's a little bittersweet. I'm excited to be going home, but, um, sad to be leaving here too at the same time, but it's going to be a, it's going to be, have a tender place in our, my heart and uh, a place that we're always going to want to come back to. Sweet home. Two flights away from me. Yeah, well, <laughs> not home sweet home. We're not driving anymore, but we're gonna be flying for a while. I'm ready to get laid out flat and <laughs> passed up. Just crutching our way through the airport. They offered me a wheeled motion device and I said, nah. Ask me, ask me 45 minutes from now how I feel about the decision. I said, do you want me to carry the heavier backpack? He said, don't take my workout away from me. All right, so in travel, there's various levels of complicated. Um, for me, usually if I'm gonna do an appearance uh, based around the Olympics, I'll bring my Olympic medals. So traveling with Olympic gold medals is one level of complicated. Traveling with a broken femur takes you up to the next level of complicated. Traveling with two kids 
takes you up to the next level of complicated. And traveling with two kids and a filmer who's minorly inexperienced in Euro travel and has a lot of necessary equipment takes it all the way to the top. We are, we are setting the tone for complicated travel today, but we're nailing it. With children, a three hour window disappears very quickly. I thought we were gonna have time to have a snack, Watch chill out. in the lounge, not die. <laughs> you thought you had more time on that than you did? <laughs> thought I had more time to not die on the removing carpet. But we're getting there. Hey, you think you can get injured more often so we can yeah, guys, I am here suffering with the broken overshankle and the guy behind the lens is just basking in all the glory because my insurance company upgraded both of us sitting up here in business class. Not too bad. Guys, we are one 20 minute car ride away from the most precious place on the planet. Home. I could not be more excited. I pretty much slept through the entire last flight because I had three seats to myself, so I was able to stretch my leg out, use Justin's jacket as a pillow, pass out. It's been a long but good day of travel. We're going home. Glad to see you. Welcome home. Me too. I've never been more excited to come home. <laughs> it well, feels good. We are well, excited, that's, that's for sure. Thing, you guys, it's a good thing to be home. <laughs>